Konnichiwa, One Piece friends, welcome back to more One Piece. We're on episode 244 today, and it is just after the conspiracy theory that we all just witnessed. <laughs> or not, not conspiracy theory, actual conspiracy. So, let's get into it and let's see what is going on. Oh, he, he's been places, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, I mean, th this guy, I, 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 we only saw him like, what, once? That I remember. Because he couldn't. Indeed. Come on, Polly. It's not so much of a joke now, is it? <laughs> you saw a square Usopp once. So, sorry, I, I'm just, just my, my little theory here, because they're still going to get someone as uh, a, a new shipwright. Obviously, that, that's definitely something that's going to happen. It could be Polly, since, since we learned that Polly isn't actually the one who's inheriting those blueprints. But I still, for some reason, oh, I forget his name now. The guy, Mister Mister with the with the spiky hair, that guy. Mm -hmm. But he's actually probably the one who's going to join them. Um, Lulu, that's it. Because I I think I've actually seen him before. His his, his picture or something before. He he looks familiar as all. Indeed, you are, aren't you? You'd forgive us if we apologize. Oh yeah, sure. A great sorry for tricking you. How about no? Yeah, uh, the problem here is they know you, don't they? Oh, what the frick? Finger pistol? You just stab right through him with a bare finger? It's like that guy who can freaking stab coconuts with his bare finger. Techniques beyond the limits of human capabilities. Clearly, the six powers. What? That's so weird. Oh. Wow. Just leave him alone. No, he won't. Oh boy. Stop Luffy's kick in his tracks. So that iron iron fist or whatever the frick it was that the other guy that the Bluno used earlier is this crap. Ah, except he's made of rubber, you idiot. So it's actually not gonna do anything. Why is everyone surprised? You all know he's made of rubber, come on! <laughs> I mean, of course it'll knock him away, but it's not going to do anything. Well, I guess you just have to have to figure out what beats iron. You know, rust. They were secret agents who were intended to be in that position for five years. Or as long as what's needed. They don't care. They don't have a heart. This was a plan from the start. So... The only one here who doesn't have those iron body, iron, whatever, the special mass six... I already forgot what it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, they're evil, I don't care. But the, the only one who doesn't have those powers is Robin. Which is interesting. And I guess you could also say that if, if these guys have been in the position that, that they're in as secret agents for five years, then it wouldn't be very surprising for Robin to also be the same, and she does switch sides easily. She does what she needs to to, to survive, but that's, I think, the, the important thing here. Here, And who's to say that Robin can't be a um, secret agent within the secret agents? See, I think, I think Robin really just focuses on herself, and she, she does whatever she needs to do, and gets in with whoever she needs to get in with, to do to, to, to accomplish her goals. She's already basically mentioned that. Many people have mentioned that, so she's still not here, and she actually does care for the Star Hats. Someone else is gonna speak for her, aren't they? Oh she blah 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 blah. No. Oh you don't think your wish can come true with them, huh? That must hurt. Quite a lot, actually. Oh, you do care. It's just she knows that right now she that there'd be no way she'd be able to beat them or withstand them. So she has to say what she needs to say. He knows how she's not actually really doing much to him. 
Nope. Ah, there we go. See? Now someone steps in front. Which is a relief for her. Two minutes? For what? Ah, oh, of course. I was gonna say, he's gonna blow up? Wait, can't, can't, can't Zoro cut through iron now? So if he can cut through iron, he can cut through them. <laughs> mm-hmm, even Nami's getting ready to fight. Ah, yeah, she? She's the first one to go. Oh, have faith in her! Frickin' hell. You guys really need to have a little more faith. What the frick? Oh, what the frick? This moonwalk thing? Okay, so... What? BS. You guys make no sense. That's why. Mm. Yeah, you did. You lying thief. Robin hasn't reached the friggin' window yet. <laughs> She's been walking on a treadmill in place. <laughs> Ooh, how's that? Ouch. I can guarantee you it's not the last you're gonna see of her. Mm, since they were children. Probably since they were born. That's actually really sad, if you think about it. Interesting and cool that they've mastered those techniques, but really sad. WTF is going on? He's actually a bull. Is that what that is? He's actually a friggin' bull? No, he's like a cheetah or a leopard or something. Cheetah. Wait, he can, does that- if it's cat-cat, does that mean he can turn into any sort of cat animal? Can he mix them too? See, Robin's still in these opening bits here, so she, she's definitely not gone. Losers. Come on, Luchi. You're hurting your poor bird. They probably all have a devil fruit. Oh my god. He just cut the building in half. See, I, I feel like if, if these kinds of powers actually existed, <laughs> there'd be a hell of a lot of chaos. And there is, certainly, in this world. It's just interesting to me that nobody knows about most of these powers. Oh, there we go. You weren't paying attention, were you? Oh my god. Right through him? Of course. Because of the claw. He'll be back. Come on, Zoro. You can chop iron. You can slice it. Never mind. So Zoro lost one of his swords. Is it only one? Will he get it back? Oh, poor mouse. They actually left, huh? What'd they do with Nami? They're gonna have a tough time with Frankie, probably, because Frankie is a cyborg. So he's actually got an iron body. And other powers that these guys probably don't know about. Hmm. Three of our four men are with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so they all just leave. Oh, you guys are gonna get the crap beaten out of you, actually. You guys are gonna have a bad time. What is. What? Is, what the frick is going on? Oh, they're crying because Usopp told them all about it. What? Oh my god. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Sing about the hardships. 
Severed friendship, northern wind chop. Oh boy. I want that to be my thumbnail picture. I always have to take some silly face, don't I? <laughs> well, you were told it was hot. You ding-a-ling. Yeah, please, knock him over. Oh my god. Heave ho, heave ho. Ah, oh, poor you. Of course, this place will be fine. Oh. So eventually it's gonna be high enough that, um, evacuating isn't gonna work. Yeah, that's not gonna work so well. Well, screw these freaking freaks. They're coming. But something tells me Fra Frankie's gonna be able to, uh, Stand up to them at least a little bit. Uh, it's Frank and and Frankie, Frankie telling him that the ship is irreparable is gonna make him realize, and he's gonna feel like the biggest dick when when it comes to Luffy. Oh, don't be rude. Oh, that's kind of mean, though. To just rip it apart. Oh, poor Usopp. Why, why be like that though? You can just say it. You don't have to like destroy it in front of his face. My God, come on. I get the point, and I know Frankie doesn't really care, but still. Oh boy. Okay, calm down, please. You don't need to kill Usopp right now. Oh my god. I mean, he's not. He's just gonna make him look, but... Jeez! <laughs> freaking Frankie is just so freaking violent, my god. Yeah, that is gonna suck. That is gonna be very hard for us up, but... I don't know. It doesn't mean that the ship means nothing. But, as I said earlier, they could just take the damn figurehead and put it on a new ship. They can call it the Mary 2.0. Frick. What, at, at what point is the ship going to tell Usopp that he needs to stop? Oh! Alright, we're hearing more about this. So who, who did fix? Are we going to finally figure out who, who actually fixed it? For a little bit longer. Oh. Hmm. Well, if it was an incarnation of the Mary, it would have said, I will carry you a bit longer, I think, but. Clubouterman. Oh, wait, the, there's a game. Um, Little Nightmares. It, isn't the, isn't the, um, little creature that you play as on there a Clubouterman? Or something like that. Isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it's it's like a it's a little spirit, basically. Yeah, it's a it's a ship spirit. I'm pretty sure that's that's what you were on that game, even, as well. Hmm. They could be evil too. They can do good things, they can also be evil. I guess it depends on the crew. Hmm. Fairy that dwells only on a ship. Oh, Fairy that dwells only on a ship that's treated with great care. Then is there a different one for the evil one? Or or does it matter? Or maybe maybe in Little Nightmares, the Club Outerman that you play, because you're not very good on that one, taking the end of the game as reference, it, it ends up becoming quite evil. But maybe that's... um may, may, Maybe it's not necessarily evil. Maybe it's what's done to it or what it sees there. I don't know. I don't know 100% about that uh, mythical creature, but it's interesting. Yeah. 
There you go then. The ship does care. But. If it is at the end of its life, it's at the end of its life. And getting a new ship is not going to hurt it. Because the ship is at the end of its life. How oh, inept men are. <laughs> oh, they're fools. Oh god, how so sad. Uh oh. Someone's at the door. Well, you better go open the door. No, oh no, oh. Mm. Uh, this is not gonna be good. Oh no. Come on, that's just disrespectful and unnecessary. Come on. Oh, Frankie. Oh, I really hope he's gonna be able to beat them. Oh my god. Well, that'll be it for now. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And, um... I, I think Rizal finally gets it. <clears throat> he, he really does seem to, although it's still obviously difficult for him to accept, that... Mary's at the end of its life. It would be hard. How how can you possibly not just, you know, he, he thinks of the ship like it's a friend and he obviously can't just abandon it. But Frankie is right. If 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 the ship appeared in human form or whatever uh, with, with the club outerman, then it it would Thing is Usopp needs to listen a little bit, okay? I I get it. I get it. The ship is like a friend and the ship, he cares so much for that ship. There's so many memories and everything with the ship, but he has to let it go at the end of its life. You can't, like, he, he'll figure it out. I know, it's just, a, it's just a really tough time and everything. Really tough situation for him. But, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, God bless. Keep calm, keep dragging on.